Welcome to this fifth day as we examine the letters of Ignatius to Inez. May the peace, the shalom of God, his healing and restoration and life be with you this day. So I quote, the poor pilgrim Ignatius, end quote. This is how Ignatius signs his name at the end of this letter to Inez Pascual, el pobre peregrino Inigo, the poor pilgrim Ignatius or Inigo. Uh, you know, perhaps there's a lesson here from Saint Ignatius just about the reality that we are pilgrims. We're only given a short window of time here on earth and we're really journeying, taking a pilgrimage towards our ultimate destiny. And in much of our journey, though we may pretend to be in control or have it all together, I think if we're honest, we can recognize that in many ways we need help. We're not self-sufficient. And because we are poor, we do need the help of fellow travelers on the road and especially the help of the Lord on our journey. And we also hear Ignatius invoke the help of Our Lady, that is Mary, the mother of Jesus. So just listen to this last paragraph of the letter. And I quote, I ask Our Lady that between us sinners and her son and Lord, she intercedes and gains for us the grace with our labor and work that our weak and sad spirits will be converted into strong and joyful in his praise, end quote. So ultimately for Ignatius, our goal is to be strong and joyful in the praise of God. But he knows well that we are poor pilgrims are often battling with desolation and in need of great encouragement. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, like Ignatius, we are poor pilgrims on this earth. And in these days of pandemic, perhaps we are more aware than ever, having lost over 350,000 Americans and still in the throes of these rising numbers, we've become more aware that this world is not our home. We're also conscious of our weakness and much that happens around us leaves us disheartened and discouraged. Some of us may not even remember the last time we felt true joy, the last time we really laughed, you know, the belly laugh. How much we need the warmth and tenderness of a mother's embrace. Please intercede for us poor pilgrims, dearest Mother Mary, so we may be able to sing our own Magnificat, praising God for looking with favor on his humble servant. Through the intercession of Saint Ignatius, may we find a way forward for the greater glory of God. Amen. Well, blessings on your day. And if you felt moved or touched, please, you can comment and let us reflect together. Uh, God bless you and see you next week.